course, Facebook ads will work because with the right strategy, everything will work. So for instance, when you are going open house, it will work if you have the right strategy. If you are preferring to go door knocking and you have the right strategy, it will work. So everything will work when you are working it the right way. So in an instance for Facebook, many are going straight for lead generation, leads, 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 but that is the wrong approach for Facebook when you are starting out. What we are doing first is we are building up our community. We are using videos for it so that we can identify who watched our videos for a certain time, two minutes, three minutes, a minute. So it's depending all where we are in the process so that we can identify the people that now watch our videos. Of course, you can do other resources. You can do blog posts, you can do pictures, but video is still the easiest to see, to identify and the most affordable. So what we are doing is we first start out very broad to get the people in that are maybe interested in buying or selling. So how we are doing it, that we are introducing ourselves into the market we want to take over. So agents are all over the place. They are serving everyone and anyone, but they are not differentiating themselves from the next agent next door. So most of the people know two, three, four agents, but how can you stand out? And by the way, it can be video because still for some reason, agents don't want to do videos. So when we are going in, we are using video so that we first identify our market and then we are being very specific so that we can get the people in that are interested probably in buying and selling. And we are not having any expectations. We are not pitching. We are taking this for a long term approach where we are building a relationship. Even if it seems like it's on one side, but when people watch our videos now, you know when they are watching our videos in the second step, I have a way to get back in front of them. So that is where we are staying top of mind and nurture. And then at the third place, we are pulling out the people that are ready now. So it's all a strategy. Facebook works best when you have a strategy. If you want to go to Facebook right away and lead generation, yes, it will work, but, but you will not convert those leads as easy. It takes months, weeks, months, and uh, people are now educating themselves early on. Everything is on the internet. Everybody can Google what they need to do. They actually don't need your help, but you can come in when it goes to community. You have your boots in the ground. So the majority goes to Silo, looking properties, getting information, what the home is costing, how they can get pre-approved, all that stuff. But when it comes to community sandwich content, now they are not having their boots on the ground and that is how you can go in in front. And honestly, Zillow doesn't do anything else. They are running Facebook advertising. So you can go check out their business page and then go check their advertising. They are doing a lead generation up front and then nurture them at the back end and then selling it to other agents who doesn't want to use or want to work the leads for a lot of money. But you can actually do the same, go in front and now you are building that relationship. You are starting out with content that is relevant to your, the people you want to reach. Maybe they are the rural sellers, maybe they are first time home buyers, maybe they are veterans. Maybe you want to work with the stress sellers. So it's all depending who you want to reach because your message as well is very important. When you are out there vanilla, nobody knows actually who you serve and which community you are knowledgeable of, that is when you are losing out. So what we are doing, we are creating videos 
and they are not overwhelming so we are starting out with three videos and then we are replacing one video after one video at the time when we are looking the data if those videos are converting well with our viewers or if everything um, is interesting to them and if not now we are going in and uh, replacing the video and that also keeps fresh content in front of our people and then in the follow-up now we are using videos we are using normal posts blog posts podcast whatever you want to use it is fine because now we are in the nurture the main reason is you want to stay top of mind because as soon as they saw your video they forgot already who you are but then the next day you are coming again and you're coming again and you are coming again and that is how you build that relationship that is how you are building your pipeline and when you are understanding that real estate is no longer from the old schools where real estate was seen as a sales business so where you are selling 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 now it is in the long term it's in a marketing business where you want to attract people to you and selling is not no longer the way to go in my opinion if you are a good sales agent hey why not but you will see that even you as a good sales agent you will have trouble to convert those leads easily because when they see somebody who is showing up always with valuable relevant information that is interesting to the audience now you are going in there and you compete with that agent and I would believe that that buyer or seller uses the agent they felt already familiar with, they know what they are doing, they know how they can help you instead of you calling them out of the blue if they want to buy or sell. So it's all now about relationship building, transparency and educating your audience you want to serve. At the end of the day, it's about the know, like and trust, but that is not enough anymore. You want to make sure that they believe in you, that they are believing in you, that you can solve their problem they probably have. So that is how you can use Facebook. Absolutely, it works if you take the right strategy first. What we would do is we would warm up our audience, then moving them into the next step to follow up and nurture. And then once in a while, we are asking and pulling out the people that are ready now, if in the meantime, they not already have reached out to us. So that is how we are using Facebook. We are understanding that Facebook is incredibly powerful, but you need to use Facebook in a way to integrate that you build that relationship because they are on Facebook to connect with family and friends and they don't want to get pitched and that's what many agents are doing. I have to sell that house, you want to buy, uh, do you need a mortgage, blah, blah, blah. You want to build that relationship first and then you will see you are building your pipeline until they are ready and every day new people coming in and now you don't have to worry about what is going on when you are going out with one of your prospects selling a home showing a home because those videos run 24 7 365 if you choose so so that you always have new people in and you don't have to worry and that was most agents are doing is they are getting a lead they let fall everything behind them now they are going with that lead but when they are coming back from the closing table they start all over again oh what now i have no one to work with so you can build with facebook exactly that pipeline we are calling it a deal a day pipeline where we are always getting new people in that works 24 7 365 and it doesn't need to cost an arm and a leg we are starting out with five dollar advertising running them behind now taking one dollar advertising and you can get a long way between three to five hundred dollars if you are using it right.